What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American Politics, back in with a new video today. It is time that we get the elephant out of the room. We're talking about Kanye West 2024. Where do I start? This is real. This is no parody. Nobody's bullshitting you. This is a real thing. Kanye West is running a serious campaign. And... I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say about this entire campaign. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, he said in 2020 he was going to run. Like, yeah, he ran in 2020. But this was like a publicity stunt. This, this wasn't some real thing that nobody took seriously. Nobody seriously took Kanye West 2020 seriously. He was on the ballot in like 12 states. He had like 70,000 votes. He didn't do so good, all right? But it's whatever. I think he just got bored. He was like, you know what? Why not? Why not run for president in 2020? The year's a shit show. Let's do it. But 2024, it appears he's running a serious campaign. And not only that, I think he's running the Republican primary. He's indicated he is running. There's some indication that he is, in fact, running in the Republican primary. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I don't stream debates. I think, you know, just watch the debates yourselves. But if Kanye ends up on a debate stage versus Trump and DeSantis, which I think DeSantis has possibly runs, I will stream that debate. There is so much possible entertainment and joy that would come from that debate that I would stream it. Now, we ought to discuss... How, why is this a good thing? And all this other crap about his allegations of him being, you know, some terrible person, all that other crap. And the answer is, honestly, the whole Kanye scandal when he went on Tucker Carlson like two months ago, whatever it was, I didn't pay attention to it. I really didn't say much. I didn't really look into it, what he said. I don't know what he said. All I know is, a bunch of big companies like Adidas, they canceled him. They canceled him completely. They threw him out the window because he said something. Do I know what he said? I don't know. Was it bad? Possibly. But these companies that keep throwing all these people out the window because they say one thing that they don't agree with. Again, could he have said something bad? Yeah. I just didn't look into it, didn't pay attention to it because I didn't honestly care. I honestly did not care that... You know, some, he said something on Tucker Carlson that pissed off some people. whoop de doo That's every day. And it's one of those things, it's bullshit what happened. Now, does that mean I would support Kanye? I want to support him presidential election. I'm just saying it flat out. But there is, and I know some people are going to say, oh, well, the two people running his campaign, they're bad people. I'm just going to say this. This could be a net positive for Trump and the Republican Party, in particular Trump. Now, I understand there are some people in Kanye West's campaign that they, some statements they said in the past wasn't the best. I understand that. There's some things that happened, but I'm just ignoring that. I'm just ignoring all that and focusing on what Kanye is running on. And this could be a positive. Now, there's some things that people are going to say, oh, well, X, X, and X, he said this 15 years ago. It's like, I'm not discussing that. I'm focusing on what his campaigns will be focused on, which is a net positive for the Republican Party if he actually runs. It could push Trump further to the right on the issues that matter. The issues that, in my opinion, has always been his downfall. True cultural issues and stuff like Christianity. This has always been Trump's massive flaw. He's a New York liberal. That's what he was in the 90s and the early 2000s. A Ross Perot liberal. That's what he was. And he always had a so more socially liberal-minded mindset because he was from New York. But even then, <clears throat> that's the one problem I have with Trump always. He has still some of that cultural liberalism in him. Now, the stuff like abortion, he's involved over the years. But stuff like Christianity, he doesn't talk about it. He doesn't really talk about Christianity. Christianity at all. He doesn't talk about any cultural conservative issues 
Really at all. Outside of maybe transgender stuff. That's about it. He doesn't talk about anything outside of, you know, transgenderism. <clears throat> That's about it. But Kanye appears to be pivoting towards a more of a Christian-based platform. Kind of like Cruz in 2016, but not cringe. It appears he's more of a Christian demo he's running more of a Christian democracy platform. He's focusing on, you know, school prayer, you know, bringing back God in America. That's a good thing. These people that think this is a bad thing, no, it's not. Is there some things I may disagree with Kanye on? Yes, but I agree. We need to bring bring back Christianity and God to this country. And if Kanye West is serious about this, I think his whole goal is to push Trump further to the right on that issue. And you look at where Kanye did best in 2020. Again, there are some, there's many counties that are out because, well, he was on the ballot in most places. But the areas he was on, you notice that he did best in the more Christian parts of the country. And there's obviously a bit more minority appeal. You look at Mississippi, Arkansas. He did better in the places that have a higher black population. But there's also a correlation with Christian voters. He did great with people that are fairly religious. And if he can expand upon this in 2024, focus on school prayer, you know, pushing back on this cultural liberalism nonsense, push for cultural conservatism, actual conservatism, not this LARP of, we're Democrats from 10 years ago. No, focus on pushing the envelope to the right. Focus on a conservative-based platform Braining back God. And that appears what he's running on. That appears to be running on this Christian democracy platform. Now, the question is this. Could this affect 2024? The answer is I don't really see much happening. If you run for a third party, that may get a bit dicey. This is where I could have a serious problem with Kanye. If he's running the Republican primary, fine, whatever. But if he's running in the general election, he gets 1% of the vote, 1 to 2%, all right? Let's just be let's just be generous. 1 to 2%, which is possible since he is running a more legitimate campaign, more people are going to know that he's actually running since he's going to be on the ballot in most places more than likely if he runs as independent. This is my problem with Kanye running. As an independent. I hope he runs in the Republican primary just to push Trump to the right. But this is a problem that we could have if Kanye is on the ballot. All right. So let's say this is the map, the safe map. All right. And these are the likely safe Alaska we'll talk about in a future video. But OK, in this scenario. All right. Democrats, you know, they have a bit of advantage here. Kanye West would obviously take more votes away from conservative-leaning voters. Anything else is hogwash. So let's say that, you know, whoops, let me just actually do this. Okay, these are the safe states. And let's say he takes away a couple votes in Georgia. Let's say Georgia goes Democrat by half point. Kanye gets a point of the vote. All right, that makes it a lot more difficult. Let's say North Carolina, Trump pulls it off, all right? And let's say he, you know, hurts... Trump in, let's say, Arizona. Let's say he hurts Trump in Pennsylvania. You start to realize a trend and also New Hampshire. Look at this. In just one swoop, having Kanye on the ballot, running on this Christian-based message, could hurt Trump in a lot of states that do matter. States like Wisconsin, I wouldn't really, or Nevada, I wouldn't really think it would. I think Trump is still favored there. Wisconsin, similar deal. I think Michigan becomes a bit harder. You know, you can keep going, but you get the point that at this point, Republicans are in deep trouble. If Kanye is on the ballot, which again, do we know he's running as independent? No. Is there a chance? Yes. Will he? Who knows? But if Kanye runs the third party, I think this is going to be bad news. It's going to split the vote just a tiny bit in states that will have razor-thin margins. That's my problem with Kanye in 2024 if he's running as third party. If he's running the Republican primary, trying to push Trump to the right, fine. Outside of that, I 
just cannot get behind this campaign. I love the memes, but I hope this is just, you know, him in the Republican primary. He gets like 5% of the vote and leaves. Not him running the general election. Gets 1% to 2%. We're screwed. So hopefully that's not the case. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash that like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the Twitter account in the description down below. And join the channel today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Godspeed to all of you.